welcome back. Today we're going to be reviewing the Smith & Wesson MMP Shield 40 Gen 1. The shield has an overall length of 6.1 inches, a height of 4.6 inches, an overall width of 0.95 inches, with a barrel length of 3.1 inches, and it weighs in just under 20 ounces. The shield is a single action only semi-auto with a 5.5 pound trigger pull. The reset on it is not that bad. The shield originally came in 9mm, 40, and 45. They recently added a 380 and a 30 super carry. Unfortunately, they have discontinued the original shield and they're pretty much sticking with the 2.0. They have made it better in a lot of ways, so I really don't blame them. However, that does not mean that they're not great firearms. They just kind of made a good thing better. That being said, you can find these for about $150 used nowadays, and it, if you're looking for something to carry, it is definitely worth the buy. Now, if you already have a 1.0 and you've been thinking about getting the 2.0, the changes they made do make it better. I'm not going to lie about that. I've, I've fired one. They're, they're great firearms, but... If you've already got the original, it's you're paying extra money for something that's just a little bit better than what you have. Which, if that's your if that's your thing, go for it. Now, some of the things they changed on the 2.0 from the 1.0 is they've added extra stippling on the handle. They add extra serrations about right here so that it's easier to rack the firearm. They've also changed it to where the slide it went from 23 pounds to 21 pounds to pull back. Uh, it is kind of a beefy slide on these things, so that, that's kind of welcomed. They've changed the trigger pull from a 5.5 pound trigger pull to a 4.5 pound trigger pull, which is amazing. And they've also made it to where the trigger reset is a little more audible, but I really don't have a problem hearing that. Now, I might after I fire around and I don't have any hearing protection, but can't really change that. Definitely don't recommend that. The 40 and the 45 come with 6 and 7 round magazines. The 9mm come with 7 and 8 round magazines. So in the hand with the flush magazine, you get a decent purchase on it. Not too bad. With the extra round magazine, you get a really good purchase on that. So not, not too shabby. Both are really comfortable and both are really easy to conceal. I'll only say this because everyone's thinking it. Um, Smith, it would be nice if you could give us some extended magazines either to keep in our pocket or to take out to the range because sometimes six and seven rounds is kind of tedious to keep reloading. Alright, so let's go ahead and get into it. First things first, we want to make sure that we're clear. Check and check. After that, you want to flip this little armature that's in here. Take that and flip it out. Rotate your takedown lever 90 degrees to the right. Drop your slide. And pull out. After that, you want to take out your recoil spring and your barrel. And you are field stripped. Now to put it back together, all you do is take your barrel, you want to thread that through, take your recoil spring and put this end through the slide, and lock the back portion into the barrel, like so. Take your slide and your handle, you want to thread everything on, and lock it back. You want to take your takedown lever, rotate that, and you can either put your finger down in there and flip that armature, or you can take an empty mag and it will do the job for you. Then once you do that, drop your slide and you're set. Go ahead and do your checks. And everything's good. 
All right, now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and take it out to the range. But first, don't forget to go check out the Texas Best Waiting Vest. They have an awesome deal going on right now, so pick up yours today. Link in the description. Shield 40. Defensive silhouette test. Cinnamon. Gonna go ahead and take it out to seven, do the upper ring. Five on, two off. Definitely a center mass firearm. Going back to the five. Upper circle. Gonna do one last run at center mass. Definitely puts him in. Because you should always test your defensive load. Sig hollow points. Top ring, not bad. It's pretty dead on at a defensive range. Close. Not a bad option. Now what have we taken away from this? We know that the 40 kicks like a hand cannon. It kicks a lot harder than a 9mm, a 45, 380, you name it. It kicks pretty hard. Um, that being said, anything you put around in is going to feel it. Like hardcore. We know that these are super accurate. The 40 is probably going to be more of a center mass firearm, which in a defensive situation, that's perfect. Overall rating, I give it, for a carry purpose, on the 1.0, I give it a 9 out of 10. Like straight up. Uh, you don't have any malfunctions with these things. They're very reliable. They feel great in the hand. Very manageable. And they're just really easy to conceal. You, you, you can trust your life with it. And I do. As always, thank you for staying until the end of the episode. Please like and subscribe to help the channel. I would really appreciate it. Be seeing y'all next time.